Welcome to another episode of Sip of Sarah. Today on the show, we're going to make phyllo wrapped asparagus for our party. So, I went and got me two bunches of asparagus bundles. And they're, they come with rubber bands wrapped around them. You're going to take your asparagus. At the end of it, it gets more woodier and tougher so you're gonna break it off and then you just have your asparagus spear okay this is phyllo dough it comes in the package like this it comes with two rolls in it you get it right in your freezer section it comes in this little plastic thing and then you unroll it and it comes with plastic what i'm gonna do stick a knife come right down the middle of all these sheets and cut the stack to make two stacks. I'm going to come and get two sheets. Now they're real thin and delicate. Two sheets. Take you some melted butter. And a pastry brush and you're just going to put a little bit of butter on your two phyllo sheets you get stacked up the two little layers take an asparagus spear and you're just going to roll them up just keep rolling and then I do halfway and then because that's enough for this beer I'm going to take my knife and go ahead and just run it across. Press down, roll it to the seam and press down. And then you put seam side down on a cookie sheet. And then you're going to continue. Get you another asparagus spear. Now, if you want a lot more phyllo dough wrapped around your asparagus spear, then you can go ahead and just not cut it, cut it in half like I just did there. And if they won't stick a little bit, somehow the ends sometimes won't stick, just make sure you put a little bit of butter, press it down on the cookie sheet. Make sure your oven's preheated to 375. Okay, I got this cookie sheet full. And what I did is went ahead and you can brush with butter on top or spray them with some olive oil or any kind of cooking spray. I sprayed it with cooking spray. Pop them into your preheated 375 degree oven for about 15 to 20 minutes. Till they get done, go to brown and crispy. I have a batch already done. And you really want the little asparagus to stick out a little bit. But it's alright if it don't much. Or some of them don't even at all. But they're real crunchy. Little bite of goodness. 